What's up everyone, today we're going to be going over careers part 3 in game, but before we get into it, I want you to go check out our org, go check out our discord, check out our links, become a channel member or patron, and we're going to get straight into it. So as you know, we've done two parts of in game careers that are currently in the game and probably aren't in the game as much as we'd like them to be because the functionality just isn't there with some ships. But these ones, yeah, it's pretty much the same. A lot of these probably won't be in the game, and then they will be in the game later on down the track once the functionality has been added for them, which will be really great for a lot of people with the career choices that they're going to make in game. So if you want to make a suggestion, just watch the episode all the way through, obviously, and then make your suggestion at the end down in the comment section or join our Discord. Um, so to begin with, we're going to have chemical engineer. So with the chemical engineer, I'm not 100% how this is going to work, but obviously you got the science labs, um, the science modulars, modules for the endeavor, obviously, so that you probably be able to do some chemical engineering on board there. It's going to be a sort of a fast um, job description. I know it's a little bit hard to go off now. I'm not really a chemical engineer, so anyone that is a chemical engineer, put down in the comment section because I think the endeavor would really help with this. Um, then you've got a smuggler, obviously, so you could be able to use the your merchant man for smuggling and the Mercury Star Runner. Just a lot of the cargo ships, obviously, with the Mercury Star Runner. Hopefully, that will hide uh, people's names in the little hidden part on the ship down the corridors and you possibly will be able to smuggle AI and NPCs and do like a slave trading. I know that's probably not the like top optimal thing to say but it's probably going to be in the game but it's going to be just a vast career choice that people are going to be able to make within the game. So we'll just have to keep an um, eye on that. We got next one is we got logistics manager. Now you can do this right now but it's just pretty much uh, logistics for ships, delivery, much anything to do with uh, cargo I guess just so you can really get your hauling down packed and have uh, an efficient cargo system and that would probably be an org job so that you can actually have someone dealing with that every day and sort of just not have to worry about it at all so the next one we've got is a mechanic so pretty much mechanic slash engineer so you got your mechanic that it works down in the ship of the hull, well, the engineer, and you can also have a mechanic. So you have to go to like a um, a rest stop and whatnot, like you would do now, and just get a repair, refuel, and rearm and whatnot. It'd just be sort of that. Or they could have a Vulcan as well, or something that has drones on it. They could do repair, refueling, and rearming and whatnot. Just working on that specifically. Uh, we've got a taxi service, so you could have like a, uh, a Genesis Starliner as well to use for this service. It's probably something that you would want to think about later on. It's going to be something that's going to be needed, I would say, with the NPCs later on down the track when they actually get brought in. And then you've got delivery services. So with the delivery services, that's where logistics manager would most likely come in as well. But delivery service, like a cargo hauling, like I said, Merchantman, Carrick, you can do it in your Hercules series. You can do it in your Caterpillar, any sort of real cargo ship. You can do it in your hull series, I would say. So it's just really trying to find those utilizations for these ships and job titles that you can do within the game because it's going to be a little bit more difficult than a lot of the other things that you can um, sort of do within the verse like trying to find a job that probably doesn't exist but does exist that doesn't have an official title or place in the game so there's that that's what I'm trying to sort of just think of uh, we've got a tracker so someone who would actually track a bounty target and actually ability to professionally track someone down whether it be from using um, scanning tools going to get some data from someone going to you know just getting intel from somebody as well or a lot of those ones from episode one and two can come into this and help a lot so I was saying that as well, going on from there, we've got security details. So you can still, you can do this now and you've got personal security as well, bodyguards. So these could be put into three so that you'd have like, you can be in your own ship. You could also have two or three people in some small fighters, medium fighters to help you then escort you to where you need to go, like as a security detail or have someone with you on foot on a planet or on a ship or a station somewhere giving you some security detail and escorting you because you could have a bounty on your head from an org or someone just it's like a someone that gets their regular security detail in game or in real life it's you could sort of base it off that so that's what these are they, obviously these jobs would exist in real life so that would help them exist in star citizen as well and i didn't make up all these jobs so we've got a trainer. So a trainer in every aspect of the game. So um, you can have a trainer for every discipline, as said. 
So what it means is that you're going to need people to train to be a pilot, to train to, for turrets, to train to be an infantry soldier, train on the Endeavour. Like obviously a lot of these ships are going to need a lot of training on them as well. You've got the Cutlass Red, you've got the Apollo Medivac, and then you have the other Polo ship as well. So it's just really trying to get people narrowed down and utilized in their field because they might not know what to do properly and they might need someone to train them in that aspect. So you like the Endeavour, like I had mentioned, you got the Super Collider, you got all those different modules on that ship that can do a lot of different stuff and it's going to be very overwhelming for a lot of people that are going to need to have that training and sort of help to get that sort of figured out and narrowed down to a, a nice little niche. So we got a tour guide, so obviously a tour guide like when you would go to the javelin just before and get a tour guide off the, the javelin person with a voice as well and so it's all down coming down to that. So you've got to fix someone who knows the local area and how to get from A to B, how to deal with the local produce uh, populace, and then you achieve a given object. So obviously you might not be able to get around a system, you might not know your way around, but then you have someone that does know you their way around, sort of knows the local people, the local area, how to get from A to B, and then sort of be able to interact with the locals and know their dialect and whatnot. So that could also come down to a negotiator as well for Banu. That could really help you get your merchant man or just sort of get your way through society and learn that dialect as well. And that's where the trainer could come in as well. They could also train Banu to then help people in organizations to be able to get other people their merchant mans and sort of train them in Banu in different languages. So it's all coming down to really how you're gonna play this game, how you're really gonna like get these roles really dedicated and sort of just focus on what you need to do. Let me know down in the comments if you want another one of these because they're very, very interesting to do and how you guys respond to them. So let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the verse.